it's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarders. Today I am back with more Final Faction Series 1 action figures. I am very excited to show all of these to you. This is number four in the series. His name is Ruck. It's actually Sergeant Ruck. And he actually has two accessory packs. This is the first and only character from the Alpha team that has two different sets. In the year 2050, a large asteroid collided with our moon. Among the debris, we discovered a hibernating alien mothership. Now, the Karn are awake, and they want to plunder our precious natural resources, so we recruited teams of special operatives to defend Earth from the alien threat. They are the Final Faction. -na -na -na. And there's a little QR code where you can go to watch the show. There are only three episodes of the show, kind of one with each wave of figures that has been coming out, or a series of figures, and they... they basically have it to introduce new characters and get you a little bit more of the personality behind it, get people interested in these toy lines, but it's still a really fun show. I wish they had a ton more episodes. I would watch it all the time. There is also a comic, but I believe the comic was discontinued after the first issue. I will probably do a review for you guys after I do all these action figures of the comic, if you're interested in seeing that. The Ruck character, of course, and then I'll show you the two accessory packs. This was from Final Faction. It's made by Green Briar Toys and sold at the Dollar Tree, so $1.25 for each pack. It's still not bad for what you're going to get, but you'll see that very soon when I show you guys this. So, here's what we're looking at on him. On the back, we do have this cool collectible trading card type thing that you can cut out of the packaging. It does have some text in here about the background of Sergeant Ruck and his... Uh, maybe style, etc. his little bio. So you can pause that and read that if you would like. Also, I will show you the rest of the characters that come in series one. I do wish, though, that the pack of the character that came with accessories still said somewhere on the back or the front which accessories they are supposed to be. So Ruck comes with two accessories in his character pack, and that's uh, this little med box pack, maybe? Or possibly something else. I don't know exactly what it is. And then we've also got this piece. So these are the two accessories he comes with. Not sure what they're called or exactly what they do, but would have been a fun aspect to be able to know that. All right, here is Ruck. Ruck is actually my favorite character from the show. He's got an accent and he is very into bad puns, so we would get along fantastically. Yeah, he's great. So, he's my favorite. But yeah, there's all the... I'll try to show him a little closer so you can get all this detail, especially all this textural detail that's not necessarily painted in. There's still a good amount of paint on here, like enough to at least distinguish it from a distance, but if you look up close, we've got tons of wrinkle folds, we've got pockets kind of engraved in here on his pants. We've got details in this mech armor boot things that he's got on. I mean, it's it's pretty epic, you guys. And if you notice too, he's also got several different holes on him. So he's got holes in the front of where his ankles would be, the front of his legs about the place in where the ankles would be. He's got a hole on the center of his back, which most of them have. He's got holes uh, on a piece that goes from his backpack a little bit above his shoulders, a hole on the top of each arm just below the elbow. Lots of different holes to put accessories, so this is really cool. Based on the image, it looks like... I can't see where this goes, but I assume somewhere on the back of him. All right, so this is how it goes according to the picture of him. So, super cool. And maybe this is like an ammo thing that connects to this. I'm not really sure, but it does look pretty cool. So there's those two accessories. Oh, this is kind of cool. So now this actually flips all the way up. So he can walk around and then flip it down if he needs to use it. Well, maybe not that far down. Uh, but depending on if he's aiming at something low on the ground or closer to him. And I'll show you articulation before I show you the rest of the accessory packs. He almost is able to look directly to each side a little less than directly to each side, which would be the 180 degree turn. So halfway semicircle on that. Then he's got a full spinning joint in each shoulder here and a partial spinning joint in the leg. So he can kick his leg up about 90 degrees 
And then when he puts it back down, he can go backwards just a smidgen, maybe like 10 degrees or so. Nothing intensive, uh, but you don't really need to bend your leg too far backwards anyway. So there's all his articulation on that. We've got Ruck Rampage, and this is one of the weapons packs that goes with Ruck. So he's got basically like this big mech suit almost. It looks like there's so much armor in here. So very, very cool. And then on the back, it does tell us what all these pieces are, which I will tell you that in just a moment here. And it shows you other accessory packs that come with different characters. On the Ruck Rampage set, you get... The XO Rampage. This battle-ready exoskeleton turns Ruck into a one-man wrecking crew capable of maximum carnage. So he basically becomes Wreck-It Ralph. Super cool. Huh. It's actually a very small piece. It looks like a little backpack piece. This piece right here. Or possibly chess piece or something. Anyway, that's what the XO Rampage is. Then we get... Pulverizer. These are the two arms that come with it. They're exo arms and can level buildings. We also get a pair of legs. The legs are called Trekker. Exo legs capable of leaping three stories. Do I want this suit. This is awesome. All right, we've got the Arms of Ares. That's this particular accessory here. And that fires 4,000 rounds per minute. Then we've got the Slinger, the SAM platform equipped with six deadly missiles. So that is going to be this piece right here. And we've got the RX-7 ion cell, which is the next generation fuel cell that powers the unit. Here's that piece, the little, little cylinder barrel piece. So those are all the pieces that come in there. I am going to put on his rampage suit. However, there is some assembly required here. In the back, they show how all these pieces connect to him, but before that, they show you what each piece is here and label them. Piece number one, I thought was actually just this backpack piece, but it's actually two pieces. We've got the backpack piece and the, I guess, chest helmet type piece. This big long piece that has a bend in it, has two pegs, right here in this top edge. Hopefully you can kind of see that as I'm turning it. And those go into these two holes that come up just behind Ruck from his little backpack thing. So you're gonna put it over his head and then connect those pegs in. So let me do that for you real quick because that's hard to show on video. But now I've connected the pegs into those sides and I believe it has given me, yes, it has given me now two more holes just above that so I can still add accessories. But look at this. Look at this helmet, you guys. Super, super obnoxious, I love it. Okay. It's kind of a triangular pack. So the piece that slopes down, slopes down into his belt. The flat piece is on the top, and that is so that you can put in piece six, which is this RX-7 ion cell, the little barrel piece, on top of that pack. And I probably, I should have attached that first. That's my bad. Okay. So you can attach that to piece one and then attach the whole thing to his back. So here's what we're looking at now. Let's put arms on his armor, shall we? If you look at number two on this chart, you can see that the arms already have hands attached to them. So that's down at the bottom here. Here's what one of the hands looks like. So you can tell you see the little robot fingers here and a hook. And you're going to take one of the arms. This piece is an arm. It looks like a smaller rectangle above a larger rectangle. The smaller rectangle is the piece that goes over the shoulder to protect it. And the larger rectangle goes further down the arm. So at the other side of the larger rectangle, where there's no, there's nothing else attached, is where you're going to use the thicker, shorter plug that does not have a 90 degree bend in it to plug in to that side. So there's only one hole, you're gonna plug it in there. If you try to plug in the other one, you'll realize it's not the right size. But basically what this is supposed to look like now is this piece goes over his arm. You can see there's kind of a, 
a hollowed out area that it can hold over his arm. And then this 90 degree bend here, this is so he can hold on to it. So these pieces actually, you know, bulk up and protect his arms, but they also extend his hands and give him these robot hands so he can grip onto this handle and then control the robot claw hand is how that's supposed to work. So here's the arms with the hands connected. So this is what this piece should look like trying to get my face out of it so it so it focuses in. Okay guys, we also have an alternate left hand and it looks like maybe a shield and like a stabby diggy tool type thing. Anyway, the reason I say left hand and it's weird because this one isn't actually listed as an alternate tool, so I I don't know what that's supposed to be called, but if you see the connections, I'll take this out so that you can see it. It has the same little elbow bend there, almost a 90 degree bend, and the peg. So it connects the same way that the hands do, but if you think about how this is logically supposed to fit, the handle has to go over this part so that he can actually reach out and grab it, and then the rest will cover his arm here. And then he'll be able to use this tool, like well, one of those kids shovels type of thing, right? But if you try to put it on the right arm, the handle isn't in front of it anymore. It's behind it is the only way that it will fit. So it's only an alternate left hand, but that is pretty cool. And we also do have a couple other holes here we, where we can attach more accessories, so that'll be cool later. There's a peg in the very center of the arm, and that goes in this hole that I said he has right below his elbow. And then of course his hand goes around this handle. So I'm gonna try to put his hand around the handle first. There are hands that are actually separate, f separate from the arm pieces, and I thought you'd want to put those on first, but you're actually going to want to put those on second, probably, so that you can get the arm plugged in all the way. So I've plugged in just this piece on the arm, and now I'm going to put the handle in his hand and, and plug in at the same time. So I'm plugging it in and then pulling the handle back into his hand. So I'm going to show you that one more time. From this side, I'm plugging the top piece in, and pushing the handle into his hand, which I can't really see what I'm doing, so there we go. All right, so that works a little bit better on that. So now he's got his right arm. I've got his left arm set up with the digging tool thing, but I'm going to take that out for right this moment and try to make sure I can get this over piece all the way on him. Again, guys, these are Dollar Tree toys, so some of these connections are not the best thing you've ever seen. But anyway, there we go. Then I kind of put the handle in his hand and the plug in, and now he's got this little digging tool, I guess. I, I don't really know what he does with this, but yeah. Now I gotta put his legs in. So there's a peg toward the lower leg, and that goes in the hole that I told you guys is above the ankle. So I'm gonna slide that in. Slide it in so that the foot is right against the top of this inside piece. That way it'll line up as you go push the peg in because otherwise you can't tell where the peg is. Depending on the ages of your kids, some of your parents might have to help do the assembly of the armor, at least for the first time on these. Pieces four and five have one additional assembly step. Here's piece four and here's piece five. They are the arms of Ares is number four and the slinger. So it's the one that has this little like pow 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 ammo thing and the one that looks kind of like, like a bazooka or something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, each one has this little ring on it and that's where you're going to attach these two tiny pieces. I don't know what to call them because they're not actually labeled in here, but if you look at the tip of them, they have a type of plug with a slit down the middle and the other end is just a peg. So the peg connects to his little backpack thing, but these plug things go inside the accessories. They show that Ruck should be wearing the Arms of Ares, which is our number four. And it's going to plug in in the side of this helmet, these new extra holes that we got just above the old one. These also will kind of spin around in here and move, so if you need to adjust it, that is adjustable and not a big deal on that. It also then adds some extra joints in here. So here is it attached and now it has this up and down motion and this side to side. So lots of different ways that you can aim here. Pretty 
Cool. Then the number five is on his left shoulder. So you're going to want to make sure this one appropriately connects. If you want to pick them for the other shoulders, that's probably fine too. And the one on the left we're going to put on. So here's what that one looks like. Guys, look at him. Look how cool he looks. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm going to put his arm down so, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to try to show you up up close all of these little details and now all these things are all bendy and cool. Oh, this is so neat. You can't even tell it's a ruck in here. This is so cool. So I actually did purchase an additional ruck action figure because I might want to keep one completely in this armor. And I might just glue all the armor on so that it's good or at least the pieces that shouldn't come off. So like the leg and arm pieces just so that it's not a problem. But I also am thinking about possibly painting in some extra shadows, highlights, grunge, that sort of thing. So if I do that, I might want to do that before I glue everything down. But it could be worth having two Ruck characters so that you can still tell it's Ruck and you can have his uh, accessorized version. So that is super cool. Oh, and we do have the additional hand. So you can, instead of this left hand, have just a robot hand in here. So... Super cool. I like the alternate one just because it gives you something different that you can do with it. And since he doesn't really have a lot of, well, really any accessories that he holds, I think that's fine. Although I guess technically he holds the arms. I guess that sounds weird, but the arm armor and the hand piece, he actually hangs on to that so that he can utilize it. So I guess he shouldn't really hold other accessories. But there's definitely some other some other holes. We've got holes in the sides of his boots here, at least the outer sides of his boots, as well as some holes in his one in each shoulder and one in the center of each arm, two in the backpack piece. So there's definitely other stuff that we could attach to this and we may even be able to add in some of the assault accessories. And then the other pack is Ruck Assault. And so this has a whole bunch more accessories for Ruck. So on the back, it tells you what all comes in it, which I will read to you. Then it's got the same pictures of other things that you can get. And in the Ruck Assault Pack, we get four different things. We get a hard hat. That's a shockproof helmet that protects Ruck and increases his already formidable defense capabilities. We also get the Angry Hornet. This SAM missile is capable of serious sting, easily bringing down Karn aircraft. So the hard hat is the helmet piece, obviously. So that's this piece. The angry hornet is this piece and possibly also part of this piece. Looks like that's what holds it. I think those two pieces both make up the angry hornet. We also get arms of Ares. So I think that's a duplicate from the previous one, right? Let's see if they look the same. They're a little different. So here's the... Arm of, arms of Ares on the Rampage pack, and here's the two arms of Ares, the bottom, bottom two here, on the Assault pack. And last but not least, we have Rover. These all-terrain treads allow Ruck to reach a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour, turning him into a one-man tank. So it's basically a pair of boots that are tanks, little mini tanks. You guys have seen probably when a superhero in a show who's really large wears two different cars as shoes and is kind of rolling through the streets. It's like that, but tanks. It's awesome. So yeah, very exciting on that. And that's what he'll look like in that armor. There's a little bit of assembly, not as much as the other one, but these little tank boot tread things called rovers You'll need to put wheels on them. You're going to put three wheels on each one. It does come with six separate wheels. So pretty simple on that. I will show you guys this piece up close. So you can see what I'm talking about. We've got the three pegs that are sticking out. That's where the wheels go. This peg in, on the inside of the shoe is where his foot will go. But yeah, here's our little tank tread thing. So here's one of the wheels. It looks like one of those little Lego wheel pieces, except instead of being made of the rubber stuff, it's just the plastic and then you're just gonna snap them on. Pretty simple stuff, you guys. Just snap each of these wheels on, three on either of these, and then they should roll. So 
I'm kind of excited about this. I love tanks. He comes with a separate helmet. I'm gonna click that piece in. There we go. And then on his shoulder, there's one other piece that needs to be assembled, and I kind of told you guys about this in the package. This is the Angry Hornet. It has, it looks like a, a missile and a missile holder or something. So here's the actual missile piece and here's the little holder piece. You can see one peg and that's where I assume it attaches to the, the body. In the bottom of the missile, we have a rectangular slit. It goes from the tail fin all the way to these middle fins. So you're gonna attach that to whichever of these sides lets you attach it. I guess this middle one, this is the whole length of it, but this is how it attaches. You can see here, there's where the peg that it attaches to the shoulder. So this is how that missile attaches. That's weird. The picture has it on his right shoulder, but if you put it on his right shoulder, then it's facing backwards. So I'm gonna put it, I guess, on his left shoulder here. There's a little peg and it attaches in this little piece that comes up from his back, that hole. He looks a little bit like Mandalorian now. The Angry Hornet, I told you guys it was facing the wrong way and they put it on his right and I couldn't figure out how. I put the missile on it backwards. So you can flip the missile around and put it on either side. Then the treads go on his feet. There's not a peg in the front. So just the, just the peg on the bottom attaches to the bottom of each of his feet. And make sure the wheels are facing outward so you can see the cool, the cool tank tread design. You know what I mean? So now his boots are facing outwards. These arms of Ares are on his arms. So he's got holes just below the elbows. That's where you're gonna connect those two pegs. So here's what he looks like with the assault pack. This one was way easier than the last pack. So good news on that. Super cool. He should still stand, yes. And does he actually roll? A little bit. Guys, this is a Dollar Tree toy, so it's not made amazingly. But theoretically, the way that this works is as you move one of the gears, all the other gears move. And just fun mechanical engineering fact, as one gear moves in one direction, it moves the next gear in the opposite direction. So you can see that, that principle in action here. And maybe you guys learned something today on this toy review, so that's very exciting, right? Okay, anyway, it rolls a little bit, sorta. It's kind of a forced thing. It's not, it's not the best. The concept is cool, all right? So yeah, there are two gray accessories that he initially comes with, this little like scope thing and his medical pack or whatever it is. You can still use those that come with Ruck. And then if you buy the assault pack and you have that, then this is what he looks like all together. So I figured I would show you guys that real quick. That being said, I'm getting a little bit frustrated because the shoes keep falling off. So I might just have another character where I just glue the shoes on and then I don't have to worry about that. The other ones seem to be a little bit better. It just kind of depends. It's probably going to depend as far as the specific figure that you get, which pieces stay better than others. So some glue may be required, but these are cheap enough that I'm okay with doing that and that'll be fine. I will show you one other thing. So we have two of these arms of Ares that have pegs in them. You could attach those to the Rampage one if you would like. You can attach them at any of these extra holes. What did I just drop? Oh, his hand just fell off. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe it's supposed to be like this and then he digs like this. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know because that piece wasn't listed. Yeah, any of those extra holes that I told you about, any of these accessories that come with this guy, the other guy, uh, that come in the assault pack, whatever you want to do, you can, you can put those on. So the pieces he comes with are gray, and the pieces that are in the accessory packs are all like the army green kind of color. It looks like the one from Rampage is a little bit darker than the one from Assault, but it also could have been that they were from different batches and it's just a slightly different green I don't know if it was intentionally a different green. I do love that the back of the packagings on the weapons packs show you all of the different pieces, which pieces are which, a little description of what those random names of accessories actually do. So really great to add into imaginative play, especially for some of these older ones who can read or who can pull that together if parents read it to them. And I mean, you can still play whatever you want, but uh, it gives you some more ideas and things. So really cool. I still think though that both sets of armor are pretty neat. 
and I like them. So I definitely think it was worth grabbing both the Assault and the Rampage. I think the Rampage is cooler, but I love robots and mech and that kind of thing, and he basically becomes a mech. All of these extra accessories do such cool things, like he can jump super high, and he's got extra force in his arms to wreck it like wreck it route. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. So yeah. I'm probably gonna buy an extra ruck and just kind of glue in the, the feet to the shoes kind of thing since they don't need to move from there. And uh, yeah, so I might I might get an extra ruck for that and have one that's also always in the armor suit and then one that's regular. I, ha I haven't decided yet. Or I might just do this one and take the helmet off and the helmet can be removable so you can still tell it's ruck or you can be in all his gear. I don't know, I haven't decided. I want to know what you guys think of him down in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't had a chance yet, please, please, please take a moment, pause the video, and hit that red subscribe button down below. That is completely free for you guys to do, but it really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting awesome videos like this one on the channel. Also, be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss the rest of the Final Faction videos, which I have collected almost the entirety of all three or four of the series that have come out, depending on how you're counting them. So lots, lots more to come. Don't miss it. If you want to get notified to make sure you do not miss that, hit the subscribe and then hit the notification bell. After that, hit the thumbs up to leave a like and then go check out my channel. I've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun, nerdy, geeky things on there. Always clean videos with full reviews and demos and how to. So be sure to check that out. And until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.